Uncle Charlie and Miss Catherine are engaged in important experiments at the lab. So, don't disturb their work. I won't, Mother. Johnny? You know, your Uncle Charlie has made some major discoveries. You should be proud of him. I know that, Dad. That's Caroline. Hurry, it's time to go. Okay, I'm ready. Hello, Caroline. Good morning. Hello, dear. Johnny, you look after Caroline today. I will, Dad. Oh! A tremor. Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Come on, Caroline. Enjoy yourselves. See you later. Goodbye. Be careful, both of you. Good morning, Catherine. Good we're morning. not too late, are we? Good morning. Hello. At the moment, we're doing some experiments on cold sleep. Cold sleep? Yes. We're trying to preserve various creatures for extended periods by freezing them at very low temperatures. And are they still alive? Oh, yes. They awaken when we thaw them out. That's incredible. What's in here, Catherine? In this room, we have some monkeys. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> it's just a baby. <laughs> Actually, he was asleep for over 20 years until this morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. We call that one King Kong. Come on, I'll take you up to your uncle's lab. Oh, it's fantastic. It sure is. Is this the control center? Well, it's about time. Hello, Uncle. I got up late this oh. morning. Good morning, Caroline. Look at the mountain. We had a warning from the Seismological Institute today. There seems to be some subterranean shifting. It looks serious. Maybe an earthquake. Yes, but nothing will happen suddenly. Oh. Well, Caroline, is it interesting? Oh, yes, especially the cold sleep experiment. <laughs> Dr. Lee, the children are very concerned about our monkeys. Mm -hmm. Yes, you get the feeling they're really dead. Are you sure they'll live again? <laughs> Why, of course they will. Come, I'll show you something fascinating. <laughs> there. As good as new. Is it all right? The freezing didn't hurt it. No, it was only sleeping. We could have left it frozen for a hundred years. Or even a thousand without causing it any damage. You see, with our new process, we can preserve life almost eternally. Ah. Oh. <laughs> We've even experimented with human beings. Really? Human beings? Hmm. We have here a very wealthy man, James Bedford. In his will, he requested that his body be frozen immediately after death. We gave him various compounds to reverse the decaying effects of old age and exposed him to liquid nitrogen at 196 degrees below zero. And so, we hope that when he awakens, he'll be even younger and healthier than before. It seems wrong to tamper with the laws of nature. Ah, an age-old discussion. Here. <gasps> uh, this room is for very special experiments. Johnny, don't touch any of the equipment. This capsule is used for people, right? And they're frozen in there? Once they're inside, all the controls are set for our tests and a computer takes over automatically. Then we transmit our findings to the world's leading scientists. But when they're frozen at hundreds of degrees below zero, it's just like they're really dead. Yes. Only they're not. Hmm. Don't they feel anything? 
Uh, no, nothing. We first prepare them with a special injection, like an anesthetic. And then it's like they're sleeping. Some even tell us that they were dreaming. Oh, it's really incredible. <laughs> Johnny, don't go in there. Come on out. We haven't completed those experiments. I just wonder what it's like to be frozen. Now get out. Or I'll get very angry. Oh, an earthquake! Johnny, get out! Johnny! Johnny! Help get me. out! Stop! Oh, help me! like the Institute. No, it doesn't. What happened to my uncle? I don't know. Hello? What now? Let's go ahead.
stop that. Where are we? Where is everyone? Where's my Uncle Charlie? I don't know, Johnny. It's all so strange. Catherine, I'm scared! Don't be afraid. We're with you. Why are there only apes here? Why aren't there any human beings? Catherine, I'm scared! We have to try and stay calm, Caroline. Understand? You better not hurt us! They disappeared. Come, this way. That's it. Just a little more to go.
Did you see them? We can't find them anywhere. They must have crossed to the other side. This way, this way. That was lucky. Nobody saw us. Keep going. Let's go. This way. Ah! A house! Look, there's a house! Yes! Careful, we don't know who lives there. There's no one inside. Don't make any noise. Yes. I hope it's all right. Our entering like this. I don't mind. <laughs> they're chasing us. Maybe they're in here. <gasps> around the house. This way. Over here. Catherine! Catherine! Over here. Let's run. What do we do? They're all around the house. There's a back door there. Thank you. Come on, hurry. There's a knife. Hurry. Yes, you're right. They're afraid of that shrine. It'll give us a chance to get away. Come on, let's go quickly. Yeah. What's that? They went towards Green Mountain. Very well. I'll be right there. You've let those invaders escape? Don't worry, sir. They'll be caught soon. This is a very serious situation. They must never be allowed to cross the border and enter Green Mountain. We must call out all our troops. Trust me, General. I'll get them before they reach the frontier. This is the district leader. We must have reinforcements. Oh, Johnny, are you all right? Yes. We must keep going. Hold it. About face. Those invaders must be caught. And this time, you mustn't let them get away or I'll have you all shot. Understand? We understand, sir. But no one wants to go into Green Mountain. You cowards. Those invaders must never be allowed to cross the border into Green Mountain. Get going. Yes, sir. Forward and get them. We just 
can't stay here like this. I wonder why the fence is here. There must be a way around. They're getting close. Go on, crawl through. Go on and keep your head down. Go on. Johnny, you're not hurt. It's some kind of a trap. It's designed to kill anyone who enters here. You human? Yes, I am. We all are. Catherine! We met a nice guy at last. The apes aren't the only ones here. Right, Catherine? Yes. The apes were afraid to follow us here. Yes. I got it. The apes didn't set the trap. He did it, didn't you? How did you get to this country? Well, uh, you see? Oh, I have so many things to ask you. We came here in a very strange way. Where are we? What is this place? We're on Green Mountain. <gasps> this is Green Mountain? Have you found the... Not a trace. This way. They, they must be near here. Look! Headquarters! Headquarters! This is Police Chief Gaba. What is it? The barbed wire has been cut. They must have crossed the border. Idiots. How did they get away from you? This means they'll join forces with Godo. You must find them. Is this where you live? Mm -hmm. I was born here. Oh, do, do you live here with your parents? No, they died a long time ago. You lived here all alone? Then you had no one to look after you when you were sick. Then why don't you join us? Leave the mountain with us. No, it's much safer here. And this is my home. Come with us. Look, water. Johnny. It's all right. The water is safe. Mmm, <sighs> tastes good. Here, my name is Johnny. This is Catherine. She works with my uncle. And this is my sister, Caroline. Hello. 
My name is Godo. Godo? A funny name. You know, Godo, all the apes seem to be afraid of you. Godo? I was just thinking, if you say that you were born here, then this country is not inhabited only by apes. That's right. And there must be other humans here near the mountain. Don't you think so? Uh, I don't know. Don't you remember any other people living here? Some Bumbas. Huh? What did you say? I don't remember. I think we ought to take care of Caroline's wound. Yes. Those clothes are very torn. Uh, yes. We have to find something for you. I'll look around. Cut it! Hurry! Yes, sir. But, sir, will we have to cross the border? Yes, it's an order. Yes, sir. Go on! There's nothing to be afraid of. You cowards. Whoever disobeys will be executed with my laser whip. Go on. You must find those invaders. Go on. Faster. Faster. Go on. Go on or I'll kill you. Forward. I said forward. You cowards. <laughs> That will teach you to disobey me. Is there anyone else who refuses to follow my orders? Now, forward! Follow me! Faster! Faster! This way! Come on! Why are you stopping? Keep going! Keep going! Hey, yes, sir. Uh, you, go that way. You, that way. Forward. Yes, sir. The others, follow me. Yes, sir. Delicious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Strange food. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. There. Do I look more civilized now? <laughs> What's this? It's a funny-looking vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yes. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like mashed potato. Yes. <laughs> 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 what is it, Pepe? What? Oh, no. Don't move from here. Pepe, what is Godo like? He's strong and very clever. How did you make friends with Godo? A long time ago, I came to this mountain just to play. Then my mother came looking for me. But she was caught in a trap. And then, Godo came and rescued you, right? Yes, that's why I love Godo. I understand. Oh, another fire! There! Hurry! Hurry! There's Godo! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Don't let him get away! No! No! Godo will kill us! No! No! Kill him! Kill him! Kill Godo! Shoot him! Shoot him! Fire!
Pepe, hold on! Catherine! Oh, go to Pepe! Pepe, don't move! Pepe! I'm coming, Pepe! No, don't come here! Run, run! Save yourselves! Are you ready to die? <gasps> Aim! Your Excellency, Police Chief Gabar's acting on his own initiative. I tried to stop him. I tried to stop him. Release them. Yes, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, I request permission to kill Godot. He mustn't be allowed to go free. He is our enemy. <laughs> We must kill them! Your Excellency, you can't do this. I have fought against Godot at the risk of my life. Now that we have him, he must be punished. I request your permission to kill him. Your Excellency. Silence. children go, just the children. Do not be afraid. I will not harm you. I do not hurt innocent people. But if you cause trouble, I will kill you. Have you understood that? Yes, Your Excellency. A 
Attention! Get out. can escape from this cell, not even Godo. <laughs> If you are good, no harm will come to you. Understand? Yes. Mm. <gasps> we do not eat like barbarians. You must show respect for the customs of our country. First, you thank the gods before you sit. Then you raise your food and eat with dignity, understand? I'm still inside the cell. It's much safer. Hey! <gasps> 
Gordo, at last I have lived to see the day when I will kill you. It's taken a long time. For years I have thought of the pleasure it would give me. <laughs> this time, you will not escape me. Very well. Do just as you like. I want to ask you one question. What will you do with those three? I don't know yet. Kill me, it doesn't matter. Just let those three humans alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you, let them go. They are innocent. Silence! Yourselves, didn't I tell you that? Yes. I'm very sorry. You will regret your behavior. <gasps> Major, Your Excellency, find that boy. I want Dodo and the boy alive. If these three prisoners are killed, then they will be worthless to us. Yes, Your Excellency. Follow me. Yes, sir. <gasps> you mean Godo has run away too? We will find him again. Your Excellency, I don't care about my own life. Only the children. They have done nothing. They are innocent. Let them go. If you had not disobeyed and followed my instructions, things would be different. We'll wait till nightfall. They might find us before then. Oh, no. We've made it this far. I'm starting to get hungry. Cover all the exits. Yes, sir. They must be here somewhere! Johnny, we'll get in the truck. Okay. Easy.
away. How'd we find Caroline and Catherine? Don't worry. We'll get back to them real soon. It couldn't be helped, otherwise we'd have been caught. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Your tickets, please. Where are you going? Where's your ticket? Hiding. I tell you, I don't know. Why do you insist on protecting them? After all, didn't they run away and leave you here to die? Uh, it's not true. Isn't it? Then why haven't they come for you? Eh? Hey? I'm sure they're going to come back for us. <laughs> Are you all right? A little tired. Well, we'll rest a little. I was wondering. That flying saucer seems to be everywhere. Like it was following us. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a special reason it's doing that? Maybe to protect us. To protect yes. us? It could be from a friendly planet. If it's friendly, why don't they try to signal us? It's a mystery. Who do you think they are? I don't know. Epi? You okay now? Yes. All right, come. <sighs> hey, what are you doing here? I'm going to see my father. Your father is stationed here? Yes, he's an officer. Oh, I see. Well, go on. 
you shouldn't hang around here. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. Huh? Oh, there are guards everywhere. <laughs> Why, that's Caroline. So they brought her here. Is Catherine there too? I don't know. I couldn't get any closer. We'll scout around. Here's the back door to the building. And they're in a room on the second floor overlooking the yard. But there are guards posted all over. Mm. Here is an emergency exit. But we can't get to it unless we use the outside stairs. Godo? Well, here's what we'll do. Pepe, you borrow a pushcart somewhere and load as much straw on it as you can. We'll meet back here. Then we'll try to get into the back door of the building. But you'll have to be careful so the guards don't suspect anything. We're there. Pepe, you're terrific. Hey, you there. Godo, he's coming. OK. What are you doing? You can't leave that there. I got tired. Uh, OK, I'll help Thank you. Thank you. It's against regulations to stay here. All right, now. Pull! Oh. Pepe, you keep watch. Right. Wait there. Prepare the plane for combat. Uh, can't it wait till tomorrow? No. Do it immediately. Very well. I'll see that it's done. Oh, there's a guard there. Mm. That's the room.
Let's hurry. We can talk later. We have to get out of here. Goto, there's no reason to run away. What? The commander is very nice, and he said we were under his protection. His protection? It sounds like some kind of trap. It must be. We must get going. No, I'm staying. No, you're coming with me. Don't forget we saw traces of human beings. They have to be near here, and we must try to find them. Goto. Yes, we'll all go together. Caroline. I want to find other human beings. Caroline, you saw how he treated us. The commander has been very kind to us. He's not like the others. An ape is still an ape. Don't talk like that. We must get going. Oh, Catherine, please, come with us. Dodo, I tell you, it's the truth. The commander was really trying to protect us. And I tell you, it must be a trick. Come on, we're losing time. Dodo, no. Come on, Caroline, hurry. <laughs> Got us. Gordo, let's see you escape now. Look, a flying saucer. Uh, it's that flying saucer again. Shoot it down. Yes, sir. Wait till it gets closer. Get ready to fire the nuclear guns. This time I'll show them fire! Fire! You're a pretty smart guy. <laughs> Shall we wait for the flying saucer? Yes. Gabor might catch up to us. <sighs> that flying saucer came to our rescue again. If we only knew why they're following us. Maybe they think we're following them. Uh -huh. I noticed it always comes from the east. Well, let's go. No, wait a second. I'm beginning to understand now. Unless I'm wrong, the organization known as UCOM is now trying to take over the ape country and wants us to leave. Maybe they're getting ready to attack. UCOM has never attacked human beings. We should contact them and seek their protection or the apes will get us. It could be dangerous. Shall we try it? I think you're right. It's our only chance. I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! The command car is approaching! Get ready! Make way for the commander! He mustn't be allowed in here! Stop him! Stop him! He can't come in here! He's not the commander anymore! Luzar is our new leader! We have orders not to let him in! Let us through! Let us through! Our orders are not to let anybody in! The commander is coming! Here, let us through! Let us through! Pablo Way, come on! Oh, that's Let us through here! Coming through. Oh, here comes the commander! The commander 
power is here. How dare you come in here? Keep him out! Keep him out! Oh, Your Excellency. So you have betrayed me. Arrest him! Arrest him! Arrest him, I said! Lower your weapons. Why have you done this? You are too weak. You protect our enemies. We want to fight and kill those invaders. That is your plan? Yes, it is. I gave orders to have them killed. I give the orders here. You are not our commander anymore. Is that so? I'll give you one last chance to call off this rebellion. But, Your Excellency... And I give you my word of honor. Our enemies shall be punished. Very well, Your Excellency. Godo, where are we going? Don't you know? I'm taking you home. Home? as far as Green Mountain. Oh, oh. But you're home now, my darling. Oh, Pepe. Oh. Pepe. I couldn't imagine what had happened to you. Oh. Pepe. Oh. Pepe. At first, I even thought that you were killed by one of those naked apes. Don't be afraid. Mama, these are my friends. Uh, They're the ones who saved my what? life. But they are naked apes. Um, I've been traveling with them a long time. I can explain. We were forced to take Pepe. I'm very sorry. We didn't want to take her along, but we had no choice. We were being pursued by troops. Oh. I know how worried you must have been. Are you leaving me now? Yes, to go back to our country. You understand? No, no, please take me with you. Pepe, you have to stay and take care of your mother. I want to go with you. Pepe, I envy you because you found your mother again. I want to go with you. Pepe, you have to stay with your mother. But I... I want to go with Johnny and Caroline. Be quiet. Do you want your mother to be sad? But... <laughs> Pepe, Johnny is right. We'll see you again. <laughs> Johnny! Pepe, you must be a good girl and stay here with your mother. Do you understand? Pepe, you'll be all right? <sighs> Goodbye, Pepe. Goodbye. Goodbye, Johnny. I'll miss you. There's one good thing. We met Pepe. I don't think I'll ever forget her. That's Gabar's jeep. He must be nearby. Yes. I've been waiting for you, Godo. <gasps> What do you want? Don't worry, Godot. I've no soldiers. It's just you and I. I'm in a hurry. I have no time for you today. I have more urgent business. When I've finished, then I'll see you. And we'll settle this matter. Silence! I'm going to kill you! I deserted my post and came here just to kill you. I must avenge my wife and my son. I'll take care of Gabar, Catherine. Take the children up to the cliff and wait for me there. Godo! Godo, you can't escape now. Come on out. 
<laughs> Godo, I finally got my revenge. You want you to go to Green Mountain, but instead you'll go to your death. <laughs> Gabar, listen to me. Your thirst for revenge is against me, but the other three are not involved. Let them go free. No, I refuse to listen to you any longer. Godo, now prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> that flying saucer again. Uh, whoever you are up there, tell me, why do you prevent me from carrying out justice? I must destroy the man that killed my wife and son. I must have my revenge. I must have my revenge. Don't you understand? I've been hunting Godot for many years. You must let me kill him! Why do you always stop me? Godo killed my wife and son! It is only natural to seek revenge! You must let me kill Godo! Just let me do this one thing, and I will obey you forever! Just let me do this one thing! You come has ordered that there should be a stop to all further killing. But Godo killed my wife and my child. He deserves to die. Why do you want to save Godo's life? Oh. Help me! Help me! It's Babu. It's my son. Help me! I'm falling! Don't let go! Hold on! Hold on! Oh, Don't let go! My wife! Uh, try to catch this. Oh. Uh, uh, I can't hold on anymore. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 Godo. Hold on. I'll try to pull you up. I can't hold on any longer. Godo, try to save my son. Save my son! Oh, oh. Don't give up! Keep holding on! Oh! Uh. I can't anymore! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Mama! Come on! Come on! You're nearly there! A little more! There! Ah! My son, I, I, I killed my own son. It wasn't Godo. I killed my own son. Yukom's been signaling us. Be careful. It must be a trap to kill you. But the flying saucer always used to help us. And it's an agent of Yukom. It's a trick. <laughs> Abar? <laughs> what happened to you? Your Excellency, I don't deserve to live. I've done a terrible thing. I'm a murderer. I've no right to live anymore. I, I killed my wife. And my son. What's that? Yes, I killed my wife and my son. Oh. And I, I always thought that Godo had killed them. 
Gay bar. It was an accident. You have a good heart. I will help you. Oh, Your Excellency. Gay bar. It was an accident. Oh. Godo. I accused you wrongly. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh. oh, the poor thing. To have to live with that. Well, let's go back. No. We're going to contact UCOM. You are being fooled. You do not realize the dangers that lie deep in Green Mountain. UCOM can be very treacherous. Stay here with me. Catherine, let's go. Yes. Just a moment, please. The rebellion is over. We can have a peaceful life. Let us go back together. I can't. I know that you have been kind. Only we are human beings, and, and this is an ape country. Please understand, we could never live here, among strange creatures, in a strange country, away from our home, prisoners here, Despite all your kindness, you realize that humans are totally different from you. I understand. Yes, because we are different, you'd be afraid to live among us. But that will change soon. One day, Different people will learn to live together in peace and harmony. I'd gladly send an escort with you, but my men will not go to Green Mountain. I wish you well on your journey. Thank you, sir. I don't know how to express our gratitude for all you've done for us. Captain. Your Excellency. You might need this. It's been a great pleasure knowing you. I hope you will think of us once in a while. Yes. Godo, take good care of my friends. Very close. The entrance must be somewhere behind the mountain. Look! There's the flying saucer! Godo, where's it landing? Behind that rock formation. I don't know this place. I wasn't allowed to play here as a child. Uh, then you come certainly there. Careful. Oh, look. <gasps> this must be the entrance. How do we get in? The door's shut tight. Yeah.
I know what yucca means. The U stands for universal. Com is computer. Universal computer, right? Catherine! Oh! U-E-C. What does U-E-C mean? Universal Ecosystems Control Computer. Universal Control Computer. The supreme power. Yes, the master of the entire universe. But you didn't create yourself. Humans created you. Isn't that so? That's correct. And when were you made? In the year 2030 A.D. Huh? What's a computer? I'll ignore that question. It's too primitive to deserve an answer. It's a machine that thinks instead of humans. A machine that thinks? Yeah. Have you any other questions? Why did the humans decide to create a computer to control the Earth? They became lazy. They even let apes fight their wars for them. The humans became useless, so Yukon decided to destroy them completely. Now the apes have replaced the humans in all their activities and pursue ruthlessly the few humans that have escaped us. Soon there won't be a single human left. One more question. How many human beings are left on Earth? At the present time in the entire universe, there are only four human beings. Just four? <gasps> only us four. Catherine! Tell me. If the apes control the world, why are they fighting among themselves? Why are they killing their own people? All was peaceful here until you humans appeared. Then various tribes of apes feared that you would join forces with their rivals and attempt to conquer them and gain control of Yukon. They began warring among themselves to capture you and remain masters of Yukon and the universe. You have two choices, to go to another planet or stay here on Earth. We want to stay here. Not go to another planet. We want to stay on Earth. If you choose to stay on Earth, you can't be allowed to live with us in the present. You will have to travel into the future. <gasps> Your presence here would always cause conflict among the apes. You will have to go into the future by time capsule. What is the reason? Tell us why. Tell us why. The gap between apes and humans is too great. The conclusion is based on the statistical analysis of wars and hereditary conflicts. But we hadn't planned on, on going to a world of the future. You're only a machine. You can't tell human beings what to do. This planet is ours. Analyze your data again. Maybe your conclusions are wrong. Yukon will repeat. You have two choices. One to go to another planet and never return. The other is to stay here on Earth, but in another time period than ours. You must decide quickly, otherwise the computer Please. will decide for if you. If we refuse both of your choices, what will you do to us? Are you going to kill us? You come. You know that we have never caused any wars. So please, please will you go over your data again? You come has never made a mistake. Our results are infallible. I will give you five minutes to decide. You have five minutes and not a second more. I know. What are you going to do? I'll show you. I've had enough. I'll destroy that machine. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, go, go. <laughs> Wait. But it's no use. It's too strong. It rings every ten seconds. That's one minute. Catherine, let's escape. I'm scared. I don't want to go away from Earth. I don't want to go into the future. 
Catherine, let's try to escape. We can't escape. The machine can't run after us. Let's escape! But the, the computer used to destroy human beings. All the more reason to escape. But... If we don't act quickly, they'll decide for us. Catherine, hurry! Let's go! Why'd you stop? We'll be at the exit soon. Hurry up, Catherine! What is it? What's wrong? <gasps> We're back to where we started from. It's impossible. It's true. We can never escape from Yukon. <sighs> One day I'll... There's no other solution. We have to decide now. Now, Johnny, Caroline, listen carefully to what I tell you. We know nothing about other planets, so it's safer to go into the future. Do you understand? I won't go! Listen, didn't we travel ahead a thousand years? But we still survived. We even found Goto. But this is the ape country. We'll hide somewhere where human beings lived before. We'll manage somehow. Johnny, Caroline, please believe me. There isn't any hope of our surviving on another planet. We've no idea how far ahead into the future we'll go, but we've still a chance if we remain on Earth. Johnny, you must decide. We don't have any more time. Yes. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Catherine. If I have to make a choice, I'll choose another planet. Oh, Godo, it may be a planet where nobody can live. It may be paradise. I'll risk either going to, to heaven or hell. Let the gods decide. Godo, we want you to come with us. There are no other humans left on Earth. Oh. If I go away, it may turn out to be a good thing. Godo, please stay with me here on Earth. Yes, Godo. No, there's nothing for me here. Anyway, a new planet might turn into an exciting adventure. The Earth is millions of years old and completely governed by the apes. If they should find us, we won't have another chance. Johnny, come with me. Huh? I can't. Only 30 seconds left. Godo. Godo, there are only four of us left. Let's stay together. We need you, Godo. In that case, I will stay. Godo! Godo! We'll go to the future. So be it. We came here by deep freeze capsules. What are they? We get into them and go into the future by sleeping. By sleeping? I won't do it. Get into the capsules. I won't get into those things. No, I won't do it. Never. I won't. Go down. Then you will be forced to suffer the consequences. <gasps> Catherine! Don't be afraid. You'll be all right. You trust me, don't you? Hmm. Yes.
We must have come into the future. Johnny is. Let's go look for Johnny. Catherine, we're still in the ape country. I just saw apes. Caroline, calm yourself. I saw apes, Catherine. Calm down, Caroline. I did see them. I did. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming after we'll us. Go talk to their leader, the commander. <laughs> They seem to be in a state of shock. <gasps> Dr. Lee! Welcome back home. We're back where we started. Catherine! We're home again in our own country. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, they've had quite an experience. I don't think they'll forget it for a long time. Yes. <gasps> Dr. Lee, where are the other two? Hmm? Two? Yes, Johnny and... Johnny is over there. We put the three of you in different rooms. <laughs> but we were four. The third capsule was empty. Hey? No, it can't be. Godo was with us, a young man. You've been under great stress. You must have had some kind of hallucination. The capsule is still here? It's in the laboratory, the door on the right. Huh? 
Seven days. Fortunately, only a limited area was damaged by the earthquake. The rescue team worked around the clock. It still took seven days to dig you out. Only seven days. You've had an incredible adventure, I know, but time is relative. No one will believe that your experience of six months only lasted seven days. But it's the truth. Yes, I know it's the truth. And I have evidence. I have data that corroborates your story. I notice certain deviations in the time scale. It shows 3,714 years. And the thermometer shows an incredibly low temperature. We thought 273 degrees below zero was the lowest temperature, but these readings indicate even more extreme temperatures. And that could have elongated the time scale. Dr. Lee, the capsule was in such a low temperature zone mm. where the universal computer was. Hmm. I understand now. It's all very clear. Huh? Instead of your progressing into the future, you reversed into the past. But there was another factor, the extremely low temperature, which caused the time scale to warp. And therefore, the deep freeze capsule acted as a time converter. It sounds simple, doesn't it? Oh, Godo. There's something I'd like to ask you. Me too. I know what it is. You want to ask me about Godo. Godo went to a different world. It's not easy to explain. We came back to where we started. We returned to the present. Godo had a different journey. He's in another time zone. Did he go to the past or the future? Where do you think he is? I don't think we'll ever know. But one thing I do know, and I know for certain, Godo, wherever he is now, he'll always be in our hearts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. 